What is up everybody, my name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to make an extra $500 a day window cleaning as an upsell to your pressure washing service. I'm joined with a special guest. I would like to go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Steve-O the Window Cleaner. I have a YouTube channel called Steve-O the Window Cleaner. I own a uh, professional window cleaning company in Colorado called Pure Professional Window Cleaning. I am also a window cleaning equipment sales rep for Window Cleaning Resource out of Warwick, New York, and uh, very active in the social media world of window cleaning. Absolutely, man. So we brought in an expert uh, on window on everything window cleaning for that matter. Is that safe to say? <laughs> that's, that's pretty safe to say. The only thing I haven't really dabbled in is high rise with everything else I have done. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so uh, kind of what we talked about before, uh, we're gonna be talking about how to add window cleaning on as an upsell to uh, pressure washing as a service. So uh, first and foremost, how hard is it uh, to pick up window cleaning and start doing it? Um, I would say that if you already have the customer base as a pressure washing company, that's really your shoe in right there. It's just basically mentioning that to the customer or adding that on to the invoice when you're already doing the bid for the pressure washing. Um, whether or not you're going to be doing outside only or inside and out, usually uh, price wise, you could do anywhere from about six to eight dollars per a window pane. So if you have almost, you know, anywhere in the range of 75 to 100 panes and you want to do inside and out, boom, right there, you're almost looking at at least over $500 as an add on right there. If you want to do outside only, what I always do is I do the um, the pain price of, you know, whatever, 68 bucks and then I times that by 60 percent to do outside only. So say if you're doing, you know, two homes in a day pressure washing, you're going to do their windows as well. You're doing outside of the windows after you fresh wash, after everything's clean. There's a lot of different products out there that can make it super, super quick. You could do with a ladder and a squeegee, or you could do with the water fed pole. There's just a lot of products out there that have made window cleaning super, super simple. But I would just say when you're doing the bid to add that on as an extra, you know, thing with the bid to see if they want to add that on when you clean and you do the pressure washing. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. And I kind of want to get into some of the beginner equipment as well. Um, here but as far as charging i mean you kind of went over it so basically you charge it based on uh you said pain and then you can clean uh the outside and the inside of the window so is that something you kind of have to make the customer aware of whenever you're quoting it yeah i would always put a price for inside and outside and outside only and that is only for the glass i would also include a price if there's screens i would do like at least two to three dollars per screen if they're asking for you to clean the window tracks i would always always add on extra for that my math is a little bit crazy on that i do like 40 percent of the actual glass pane price or you could look at it and say if they want them vacuumed and clean, you could add like $4. But that is a pretty typical thing to do inside and outside. During these crazy times, a lot more people are just doing outside only. But, you know, I've been doing inside and outside from, you know, back in March when this all began. And if you just wear a mask, be safe on the inside. Most people like that. If you want a really good window cleaning look, you want to do inside and outside. When you're doing outside only, there's usually a good haze inside. And that just doesn't give that customer that like that pop of the clean glass that you really, really get from doing that inside and outside clean. Okay, beautiful. And so what kind of language can we focus on whenever we're speaking with customers or whenever we're marketing uh, in order to sell window cleaning? Is there anything in particular? I really am a uh, big uh, proponent of just keeping things simple. You know, when I do bids, it's just all about, you know, this is our procedures. We come in your house, we start upstairs, we clean inside, go all the way down to the basement, go to the outside, get that all done, clean the screens over outside get that all done, put them all back at the end and we're done. I, I just really try to keep it simple and not try to, um, I don't know, be overly cheesy at all, I guess you could say. I don't know if I have like a lot of good terms, but I just try to sell them on, hey, I'm a professional, I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna leave you with a, a spotless, clean finish to the glass. And I think just representing yourself and uh, knowing that you can do a great job and using professional tools is gonna be like one of the biggest, biggest thing for you. Um, you know, some people think they could use like, you know, a spray and wipe the windows and stuff like that. That's just not gonna work. The professional touch is using the squeegee or using a water fed pole on the outside. And that's what's really, really gonna get you more customers over time. 
Okay, awesome. And I think the reason why I ask is, is because like I've always looked out of windows and I don't think I've ever, you know, you've, I've seen dirty windows before, but I've never like thought to myself, wow, this window needs to be clean. So I was just kind of curious, you know, um, my buddy Aaron has a term for it. He calls it blowing the symmetry. So he said whenever he would go do quotes, what he would do is clean one window so people could see the difference. Um, so that's why I was just curious because I've never really thought to myself, wow, this window needs to be clean, you know? Right, right. And, and that's the thing is like, becoming a window cleaner before i clean windows i never even thought about it my mom had her windows clean when i was like super young never thought a thing about it and then once i became a window cleaner every single place i go into every home i go into i'm like oh man that's some dirty glass like i just want <laughs> i just want to clean that window i just want to get that clean but yeah i mean it definitely it's something that a lot of people don't look at even the guy i used to co-own a company with he'd always say man before i became a window cleaner i didn't even know that you could actually get paid to clean windows so you know for a lot of people too they think of it as a as a super easy thing to do and don't realize some of the actual you know, time and investment that goes into it to really learning it and, and perfecting it as kind of what people call as an art, I guess you right. could say. So. Absolutely. And I've, I've seen some of those satisfying window cleaning videos and I've seen your videos as well. And I will tell you that it does look like an art. Absolutely. So <laughs> if we were just going to upsell exterior window cleaning um, after like, let's say a house wash, um, about how long would it take just on I hate to say a normal house because you know every house is different but if we were just going to do exterior windows on the entire house how long would it take and uh, kind of what would the price point look like just to kind of give guys an idea yeah let's say for like a, a 2,000 square foot home let's say that I would usually anywhere from about an hour to an hour and a half for outside only and that depends on the dirtiness of the glass but when you're already pressure washing you're cleaning off a lot of that stuff already um, so I would say a general price for that would be anywhere from about 150 to 200 for the outside. And that, you know, hour, hour and a half is a pretty, pretty good rate. I really say that about anywhere from $100 an hour to $150 an hour is, is pretty typical for outside only window cleaning at house. So about an hour, an hour and a half, that's not too much of a time commitment. Obviously something that we could add on, you know, after a house wash. I love that. Um, with regards to beginner equipment, uh, what can we, you know, bare bones, get started with, still be professional, you know, along that lines? Yeah, to do a, a little sales pitch here from No Clean News Source, like we do have a lot of basic, basic kits going. I have my own basic kit called the Steve Employee Basic Kit. And that just basically is like, a, a six gallon bucket, a washer sleeve, microfiber sleeve that goes on like this aluminum T-bar. You use that to scrub the glass. You get like an Edurae is a very popular brand with squeegees. It's a simple brass channel. You have your rubbers in there and then uh, the handle. And that's a pretty simple setup. We have our belts. We also have um, almost a thing that I, I used to call it like a, looks like a mailbox almost. And you put your squeegees and you put your mop in there. And really the solution is very simple. All I usually use is water and Dawn soap. There's nothing like too special about it. It's, it's a very cheap overhead when you start a window cleaning business. There's not a lot of things you can break. And if you're just using traditional tools, it's very, very simple. There's, you know, poles where you could reach high if you don't want to use ladders. Um, there's a lot, a lot of stuff out there, but it's, it's cheap compared to like pressure washing. I know a bunch of guys do pressure washing and compared to the stuff that can break on there. I mean, you break a handle for a squeegee, it's like 10 bucks, you know, a, a full complete squeegee is maybe 25 bucks. You know, you can get some of the high tier tools and spend a lot of money here and there. And a very popular thing now in the window cleaning world is carbon fiber poles used for traditional window cleaning. So that's a super light, but super rigid pole. It makes it super easy to control the, you know, the squeegee on the pole. Um, you know, and then you do move into what a lot of soft wash pressure washing companies call me for is to add on the water fed pole because they think of it as they're already clean the windows. They already look pretty good. But then you get that final finished touch of a water fed pole, which is basically pure water comes out of the brush. You have no minerals left in the water that all goes through a filtration system, scrub the glass, get it all agitated, the dirt, rinse that all down and dry spotless. And literally, if you had like a two man crew, while one guy's starting to put away all of his stuff, all your guys' stuff, one guy starts cleaning the windows at the end. It's almost as simple as that. You might have to put a little bit more work into like basement windows and stuff like that. But I mean, overall, if you're already cleaning all the dirt off the frames and everything like that, water fed pole would be the quickest solution. So we do see a lot of pressure washing companies even add mounted systems on their trailers, which we have what are called like fill and goes. And they'll literally have hose reels with pure water in there 
of a delivery pump, a whole controller. And, and the different thing about pressure washing to using a water-fed pole is a water-fed pole, you're only putting out usually like a half a gallon to a gallon per minute out of the actual brush. That's not a high pressure thing like a pressure washer. So that's usually kind of the, the thing I get the most from pressure washers. Why is this not putting out like two gallons or three gallons per minute? It's just not the same thing. You don't want that. You could really shoot water in the frame. I even do it sometimes with like one gallon per minute. Also, I see water trickle in the house. And I got to turn everything off, go inside the house, get the towels and like, shit. <laughs> so that's a quick rundown kind of, of you know, how, how simple it could be and where you could go with it. Okay, excellent. Yeah, I mean, you gave us uh, some great beginning points. And what we'll do is we'll put a link uh, to your store down below. So if guys kind of want to get an idea of how they can get that whole toolkit, you know, um, they can see that as well. And the cool thing about, you know, any industry is uh, we have all of our equipment and it's always like, you could scale to the moon with equipment, but it's good to know that you could start with some some bottom of the barrel stuff and, and work your way up as you're able to build your clientele. So um steve thank you so much for coming on man you provided uh, some great value on here I, I think it's awesome and i think every company would you know be very smart to add window cleaning as an upsell to their uh, pressure washing service so every guest that comes onto the channel has to pick the word of the day so uh, what would you like the word of the day to be it's gonna sound cheesy but i would say faith when i started cleaning windows i had no faith in that this would ever turn into what it turned into and i just kept faith and kept with it and that has turned into a really great career for me and something that i never ever thought that i'd be doing as a career so just keep your faith keep on going and uh and you'll get it okay beautiful so if, if you made this part of the video go ahead and comment down below faith and i'll hashtag you a real one <laughs> my name is justin this is forever self-employed be sure to check out steve-o's channel we will leave a link in the comment section description until next time hustle hard and get that money baby peace yeah, peace